Logic's drummer track is pretty awesome. Following in the footsteps of other auto drummers, the drummer track is an all-in-one solution to creating acoustic and electronic drum parts for your song project. Featuring six primary genres and 28 different drummer personalities, this is a tool which takes some time to fully master. Even though on the surface it's designed to be instantly usable by the least experienced producer. Instead of simply providing styles and patterns, the drummer in Logic is chock full of character and personality. The creators went so far as to give the drummers names, personal styles, and musical consistency. If you hover above their faces, you'll see a short paragraph about who they are as musicians. Some of them are actually kind of funny. The interface is straightforward, relying on a special track with an identifying mustard colored region. Every little portion of the system seems functional. For example, zooming in on the region provides a visual representation of the various kit pieces. The kick and snare on the bottom, and the hi-hat and other instruments are on the top. After selecting a drummer and pattern, the heart of controlling the performance is a grid featuring loudness and complexity. Making even small changes affects the performance, and the drummer region is updated to reflect the new beat. While you can't have multiple changes for these parameters within a single region, it is easy to cut regions into smaller sections for pattern, performance, and instrumentation changes. The drum kit and auxiliary percussion icons act as toggles to select the drummer instrumentation. The kick and snare can be paired with either toms, cymbals, or hi-hat, just one of each of those at one time. The basic whole kit can then be paired with one of the auxiliary instruments comprising the tambourine, the shaker, or hand clap. Each portion of the kit has access to pattern choices or complexity sliders. They kind of do both. The kick and the snare have the most options, which also include a half-time option and a double-time option. But perhaps my favorite is the follow option that matches the pattern of the kick and snare plus the other instruments with a separate track in the project. So you could pair the kit with the bass part or a vocal part or other parts. and it will interact with them. For instance, getting out of the way of a vocal with the kick, so they're not doing it at the same time, or just doing other pattern changes based on what the other track is doing. You can also adjust the amount of fills the drummer will play with a handy lock option to prevent changes. In the details view, you can also adjust the loudness of ghost notes and adjust the hi-hat open-close behavior. Typically, I leave this on auto, but there have been some times I really needed a specific hi-hat action. And when the hi-hat is active, this becomes active as well. As you can imagine, the timing features of the drummer track are critical to creating a realistic performance. Even though using the drummer as a click track would be ideal from the very beginning, often the track is added later, or after other recordings are made, or you're changing the drum pattern of the drummer, and so matching performances is a tricky task requiring a lot of tools to help. The basic tools include a swing option for 8th or 16th note feels, and a feel knob in the details view. This means you can either push or have it pull, either rush or drag. But these changes help the basic patterns, but don't always help match to other tracks. Logic's groove track is the more powerful way of getting the drummer to play nice with the band. Setting the drummer to be the master time source is often an excellent choice because it is capable of solid time while still having style, but you could just as easily need it to follow the timing of something else. This is essentially an auto-quantized tool that matches the timing of one or more tracks, both MIDI and audio. It's actually one of my favorites, especially when working with someone like me whose timing is just so-so. You can also switch out kits and drummers without losing settings, but you have to set this in the options in the contextual menu first. 
Switching kits is certainly one way of customizing the sound, but since this is built on Logic's drum designer, you can actually switch out individual drums and adjust some of the drum parameters such as pitch, damping, and even level. If you want a bigger mix experience, then download the producer kits and switch them out to add multiple output kits for a full effect and automation enabled experience. Because you can switch between the two without really affecting too much, it's usually something that I do later on right as I'm beginning to do the full mix. I'll use the non-producer kit which is really just a stereo output and then when I'm ready to mix I'll switch to the producer kit and have more level control and adding effects to each of the individual sounds. It has things like bleed and other microphones, just this really cool experience. As you can see, the drummer track has a lot to it, and even though you can easily get sound out of it, you'll need to master a few things to make it work in every situation. Let's look at a demo song I've been working on which showcases a few of the things we just talked about. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at Logic's drummer track. Come back next week for another video.